Uh, who the hell is that? Friends of yours? Hold on! If I were you, I'd be taking all the help I could get right now. <sighs> you the leader of this outfit? Hey, you all right there, buddy? I've had worse. That's right. What of it? Cheeky. There she is. You remember me? Great. These jackasses. Oh, she remembers all right. Oh, yeah. You look, uh, different. I look different, because you made me look different. <laughs> yeah, man, she knows. She's messing with all you, dude. All right, that's enough. Calm down, Finch. She's the one that burned up my hair. Oh, come on, dude. You still got a little left. Please. Just let me shoot Hat Get Girl back in the in face. The truck. Just You're time. being a nuisance. Me too. But, man, I didn't even. So, what is it that you want man, exactly? Why are you always getting me in trouble? Fee? Mmm. I see why you're Felix's favorite. Don't be surprised. I've known about you two for as long as you've been lifting watches. But I'm out ten million bucks, cause someone turned a simple deal into a complete shit show. Someone has to pay for that. <sighs> <sighs> Looks like we have a couple new contestants. This isn't good. Okay, okay, I know how it looks. Things got a little messed up, but- Shut up! I'll deal with you later. I just want to say I had nothing to do with this. Uh-huh. Who's to blame here, Fiona? I want a name. Calm down, Hugo. No! no. It's August's fault. Really? And none of this would have happened if he hadn't screwed up the deal. Son, come over here. Uh, that's your mom? Look, Ma, I know you're mad, You but... went behind my back, and you made another mess. Now I have to come in and clean up after you. Ah, story of my life. <coughs> now go stand over there and think about what you've done. Look! I know you're super pissed, but we've got the Gordy's thing, and it is gonna get us a vault that is worth way more than 10 million bucks, just like we told you. Everything is fine. We're fine. So this is what all the fuss is about. Yeah. Yeah. That's our little moneymaker. Huh? Then I guess I don't need you anymore. What? No! Oh! Oh! No! Ah! No! Ah! I suppose I don't need any of you. You just got cut out of the deal. With a knife? Yeah. That's not how it works. And that's not how it went. She put that gun in your face and you went all... Keep talking. The truth this time. Fine. But 
Where was I? <laughs> you were in the middle of this. I was getting Gordas back. Not here. We gotta go. This isn't over. You're the one leaving. Looks over to me. No. It'll feel much different than this. I'll let you know when it happens. Tell me, are you all... Just completely stupid? Someone gonna say something? Is this some sort of trick question? Cause I don't see... I am here to help you! You idiots! Oh. This is easily the most annoying contract I've ever taken. Oh, at least if it was an assassination, I'd have the pleasure of a kill at the end of it. Oh, well, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Who even hired you? A man named Felix. I normally don't divulge that kind of information, but he wanted you to know. What did he hire you for, exactly? Felix wanted me to pass along some knowledge, to mentor you, to help you survive. He felt you two had some untapped potential. You couldn't have told us this earlier? It's not exactly something you scream down an alley when you've got Valerie's goons running around. My work requires some discretion. Oh, discretion. When you say that, are you referring to the part where you were chasing us through Hollow Point, trying to behead us with your shield? If I wanted to behead you, it would have happened. Whoa, don't be mad we got away. We'll see how this goes. Keep an eye on her, Sasha. It's usually better not to say that stuff in front of the person you're talking about. Oh, is this part of the mentoring? I didn't know we were starting already. Ugh. Look, I know you two have been through a lot. But I assure you I'm here to help. And I don't anticipate that'll be very long, because when I feel the contract is filled, I'll be out of your lives. So let's just... get through this. Well, welcome aboard, I guess. Thank you. So, uh... is he alright? Cause that's... not normal. People just deal with grief... differently. That's... different. Not sure it's grief he's feeling. Oh, yeah, he's... he's just going through some stuff. Hey! <gasps> Don't do that. Uh, oh, yeah. I think I got something. What you got? I don't know, but I, I found out there's an on button somewhere. You've been looking at that thing for like 20 minutes. Well, it's apparently very small. Initiating Gorta startup sequence. Energy chassis required for Vault of the Traveler protocol. Loading coordinates for energy chassis. Gortis activated. Happy birthday. Hi! Wow! Hey! Really great to meet you all. I think I was expecting something... different? You are the freaking cutest robot I've ever seen. Thank you! You're not so bad yourself. Meow. Awesome. Awesome! Awesome. Awesome. Oh, it was a robot this whole time! Yes, I am! That makes sense. Does that make sense? 
Yes, it does. Oh, cool. You got another robot. It's very nice to meet you. How is your day going? It's a mixed bag. That's great. Variety is so important. Gordis, hi. Hi. What are we supposed to do now? Well, that depends. I take it if you activated me, you'd like to get a vault. Yep, that that's the that's the thing. Please do that. Great! Now, I don't know every detail, but I was created by Atlas as a last-ditch effort to get to the riches of a vault, to get a leg up on those Hyperion guys. Well, we are still number one. Atlas had facilities all over Pandora, working on the pieces of me to get it done faster. But then, that lady made it a little more difficult to assemble by killing every Atlas employee. Well, uh, how many more pieces are there? No idea, but the next piece we need is... Uh... Oh! Okay, let's do this. Great! Oh, that's a great idea. Everybody up and out! Come on, Slowpoke! Time's all wasted! Uh, Gordis? Hmm? He is, um... Oh, he's got, um, some stomach issues. Oh, I can see that. Well, hope you feel better. Hey, is there a radio? 